Hello, welcome to this Control Web Panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss setting up your email accounts on the CWP User Panel. To access the Email Accounts module from the dashboard, go to the left sidebar and open the Email Accounts submenu and select Email Accounts, or scroll down and under the Email Accounts section, select Email Accounts. This opens the email account module. On this page, you'll see the number of email accounts you have available to you under your plan, as well as the number of accounts that you still have available. Below, you'll see a table of all your configured email accounts. You can sort these by mailbox, domain, last access, or usage. If you're looking for a specific mail account and you have many, you can also use the search field. For each of these email accounts, you have a variety of actions you can perform here. The configuration icon will provide you with Windows Live Mail configuration for IMAP over SSL and TLS, POP3 over SSL or TLS, IMAP or POP3. You also have the option to change the password for these accounts. And to do so, you can select the type of options you prefer to have available regarding the length and alphanumeric symbols. And then you can click the gear icon to create an automatically generated password. This password will be automatically copied to your clipboard. You can either save the changes or cancel. With this icon, you can suspend an account temporarily and then reactivate it when you choose. That's different from the delete icon, which will remove this account from your user panel entirely. To add a new mailbox, select the blue button that says add a new mailbox. Here you can enter the email address and select your domain. Again, you can use the password generator to select your alphanumerics and symbols as well as length, and then use the gear icon to automatically generate a new password, which is copied to your clipboard. You can also enter your quota and then add the account. And you can see here's the new account added to our table. These email accounts can be used from the webmail installed on the server as well as external mail clients. Below the table, you will see some manual settings for common email clients. So here are the settings for secure SSL and TLS settings. And although not recommended, here are the settings for non-SSL. You also have the option of setting up mail forwarders or aliases. Click the middle tab to open your mail forwarders management tab. Below, you can see a table of forwarders already configured, as well as a number of forwarders permitted and available. For each of the forwarders in the table, you have the option to edit, suspend, reactivate, or delete. To add a new forwarder, click the blue Add a New Forwarder button. Here, you can set the email address and the email address to redirect to. If there's more than one, separate them with a comma. When you're done, click Add. If you'd like to make any changes to any of your mail forwarders, find the forwarder in your table and select Edit. Here you can add or delete more addresses. Note that if you have the same alias address as the mailbox and you want to keep a local copy, then you need to add an alias under forward to to the same email address. And then update. You can also configure mail forwarders with an asterisk as the username. This creates a catch-all email, which will receive all email sent to non-existing mailboxes of this domain. This can be a very useful tool for catching spammers' email addresses 
which you can then forward to a blacklisting system. The CWP email module also supports alias pipe. Alias pipe allows you to send email to a PHP script, so it can import email into a ticket, like for example with WHMCS. To add a new alias pipe, first insert your forwarder, select the domain, select the PHP, and enter your file. When you're done, select the button plus add new. And you'll see your new alias pipe forwarder added to the table below. For each of these forwarders, you have the option to suspend or reactivate or delete. Another feature under the CWP email accounts submenu is autoresponder. This allows you to create autoresponder messages for your email accounts. Below, you'll see a list of autoresponders already set up with the options to either suspend, reactivate, edit, or delete. To create a new autoresponder, click the Add a New Autoresponder button. Here you can input your email, select a domain, and your subject area. You can use the checkbox to use HTML in the message, and then input your message. If you'd like to set a time span to use as autoresponder, you can check the box only send during this time period. And here you can select the start date, the start time, the end date, and the end time. There are also advanced options that allow you to set the reply interval which is the interval between responses to the same email address. The default is set to reply every time, but you can also set this to reply once a day, per vacation period, or a custom time interval in hours, which you can then input here. You can also input a custom from name, and choose your character set. When you're done, click Save. And this adds the new autoresponder to your table. For more information on how to set up email accounts in CWP, please refer to our online user guide. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.